In this video I'm going to have a look at um, the basic rule for differentiation. So if we have a function f of x uh, equal to x to the power of n, then f dash x here f prime of x is equal to n x to the power of uh, n minus 1. So you basically bring the n down and reduce the power by 1. So where does that come from? Well, in a previous video I did um, differentiation from first principles, so just briefly, just to run through that again, I'm not going to go through it in any great detail, but we had a diagram like this where we have a point x here on the x-axis and we increased it by a distance h, this distance here is h, so this point here is x plus h. So these are two points on the x-axis. Now the image of x then, or the, um, if we put x into our function, we get f of x, f dash of x, or f of x here I should say. So if we put x into our function we get f of x. If we put x plus h into our function we get f of x plus h. So um, we have this curve here. This is our original function and I have a line going down through these two points here f of x and f of x plus h. This yellow line here and we're going to reduce that. We want the instantaneous rate of change here at f of x so we're going to just reduce this distance h uh, effectively to zero if you like so that we end up with a tangent here at f of x and um, really what we're doing is finding the slope of that tangent I guess at at the point f x f of x here so uh, this distance up along here is um, f of x plus h minus f of x and the slope here of this this uh, yellow line here, this um, this this yellow line through f of x and f of x plus h is um, f of x plus h minus f of x um, over h, and then we want to find the limit of that, so we find the limit of this thing here as h goes to zero. This is really our definition for uh, differentiation dy dx. How wide? So how dy changes with respect to uh, x. So if we reduce this distance h to zero, we end up down here at f of x. So this is what we're going to use in our um, proof of this thing here. So let's start. Um, now we're taking a function. We're taking our function uh, f of x. And we're taking that as being x to the power of n. And we want to prove then, we want to, to prove, we want to prove that f prime x, if we differentiate this function, we get n times x to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so we need to, we're going to use this here, we're going to use this here, our definition of uh, differentiation. So I'm going to just build this particular part up here, and then I'm going to get the limit. So I'm just going to do this bit here first. I'm going to do this, then subtract this, then divide by h, and then let h equal to or go towards 10 towards 0. See what we end up with. So let's start that then. Well, the first thing I need to do is write down f of x plus h. Well, that's just going to be x plus h to the power of n. So if f of x is equal to x to the power of n, f of x plus h is x plus h to the power of n. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to work this out um, using the binomial theorem, using the binomial expansion. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do this first. So let's have a look at that. So this is um, x plus h to the power of n. So what happens if we expand that? Well, from, uh, from our binomial theorem, we know that it's uh, going to be n0, n choose 0, and then x to the power of n and then h to the power of 0, which is 1, so I'll just leave that out. That's our first term. Plus, then we get n, choose 1, and x, that's going to reduce in power by 1, so it's going to be n minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 here. And then we introduce the second term here because it's h to the power of 1. Here it was h to the power of 0, now it's h to the power of 1. Okay, let's do the next one, so it's going to be n, choose 2, and our x is going to have a power of n minus 2 this time. And our h is going to move up one power, so it was power of 1 here. It was power of 0 here, power of 1 here. It's going to be power of 2 here. And it continues on and on like that. 
until we end up with our last term which is n choose n. Um, our x, our first term here is just going to be to the power of 0 so that's 1, we leave that out and our h will be left here at the end and that's to the power of n. So this is what we get if we do this bit here. Let's just um, tidy that up a little bit. n choose 0 is just 1 so we end up with x to the power of n um, n choose 1, um, that's just going to be n, <coughs> so that's x to the power of n minus 1 times h, um, and so on. I, I won't actually do this one, I'll leave it at n2. It's actually going to be n times n minus 1 over 2, but it's just shorter to write it this way, so I'll leave it there. x to the power of n minus 2, h squared, plus all the way up to here. Now n minus, or n choose n. Um, that's just going to be a 1 again, so we just end up with h here to the power of n. Okay, so this is what we get when we expand this out here. Now, next thing I'm going to do is remember from our definition of differentiation from first principles that I did up here, um, we have to s write this down and then subtract um, f of x. Subtract f of x. Now, f of x is just... Um, x to the power of n. So I'm going to write all of this down and then at the end subtract x to the power of n. But if I subtract x to the power of n this term here will disappear. So in other words x plus h to the power of n minus x to the power of n that's just going to be equal to this term here will disappear and I'll end up with n x to the power of n minus 1 um, times h plus n2, n choose 2, x to the power of n minus 2, h squared, plus, and so on, up to the end here, which is just h to the power of n. Okay, so I've done the top line, I've done the top line of our um, definition of differentiation. I've done this bit and this bit here. Now I'm going to divide by h and then find the limit. So let's do that. So the next line then is going to be uh, x plus h to the power of n minus x to the power of n. Now we're just going to divide by h. Okay, so if we divide this here by h, we end up with n times x to the power of n minus 1. And you probably see where this is going at this stage. But um, let's continue on anyway. This is going to be n choose 2, x to the power of n minus 2. And this just becomes h. One of the h's disappears. So you end up with all of this here. And out at the end here, we end up with one of these ends is going to disappear, it's going to cancel, it's going to divide by the h. So we just end up with h to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so now I've done, uh, I've done most of it. All I've got to do now is get the limit of both sides. So I'm going to get the limit of the left-hand side as h goes to 0. So that's x plus h to the power of n minus x to the power of n over h. Now <clears throat> if h goes to 0 here effectively everything up along here is going to become 0. This is become, h will become 0 if you like so this whole term will disappear. The next one has a h in it as well. The h becomes 0 so that will disappear and so on right out to the very end. The last one will disappear as well. It has a h in it. So really all we're left with at the end here is n times x to the power of n minus 1. So that's our definition then, that's our f prime x. This is our definition of differentiation. And we ended up with n times x to the power of n minus 1 when we differentiated. Remember our original function? Our original function was just uh, x to the power of n. And we applied this rule here, or this um, definition of differentiation, and this is what we ended up with here. So that's it. I mean... Um, as a basic example, I've done this in another video anyway, but if you have uh, a function that is, let's say, x cubed, our rule here, if you like, just tells us that uh, if we differentiate it, we take the 3 down here, we take that down here, so it becomes 3 times x, and we reduce the power by 1, so it's 3x squared. Okay, so that's it for uh, this particular video.